Okay, friends. So let's solve another problem on finding the middle term of an AP. Okay, the question says find the middle term slash s. So what does this mean? This is weird, isn't it? What does this mean? This means that you don't know whether the number of terms is odd or even. So depending on that, it could be either uh, one middle term or two middle terms. If n is odd, that is number of terms is odd, then there will be only one middle term. If the number of terms is even, then there will be two middle terms. That is what we learned. Hence, since it is hidden in the question, so hence they have said term slash s. So it could be one term or two terms, hence of the AP. Okay. Now, what is the AP? It's given 7, 13, 19, 25, 241. First of all, well, you know, let's write the basics. So what is T1? T1 is 7. And what is D? Common difference is 13 minus 7. That is 6. And check whether this 6 is the common difference everywhere. Yes, looks like. Yep. So hence we have to find out the middle term for finding the middle terms or middle term or middle terms we need to find out the number of terms first in the AP because middle terms exist only in finite APs you cannot have middle terms in infinite APs so let's find out n number of terms let it be n number of terms number of terms in the given AP in the given AP b n okay b n let let number of terms terms in the given ap be n then so last term will be the nth term in this case what is last term guys 241 so 241 can be written as t1 plus n minus 1 d indeed right so what is 2 241 and t1 was how much 7 plus n minus 1 and d is how much 6 so that means n minus 1 will be simply 2, 4, 1, minus 7 upon 6, which is 2, um, 34 upon 6, which is 6, 3 times 18 and 39. Yep. So this is 39. N minus 1 is 39. So what is N, dear? So 39 plus 1 is 40, right? So N is 40. What is this? Total number of terms. Total number of terms where in the ap in the given ap right now what if number of terms are known now you can find out the middle term so n is even so this happens to be an even number so if n is even then there are two middle terms there are two middle terms and where are they which positions they are located so they are located at t n upon 2 and t n upon 2 plus one of terms are the middle terms so in this case t 40 by 2 and t 40 by 2 plus 1 that is t 20 and t 21 are the middle terms right now so 20th and 21st term so let's find out what will be t 20 T20 is not the cricket match. T20 is term 20 here. T20 is first term. What is first term? First term given was 7. You can check first term was 7. Yes. And 20 minus 1 times 6. Right. Which is 7 into 19 times 6. Correct. Which happens to be 121. Right. Now. T21 will be 7 plus 21 minus 1 times 6, which will be equal to 7 into 20 into 6, that is 127, right? You could have found out T21 simply by this as well. T21 is T20 plus the common difference, right? T20 was 121 plus D was 6, so hence it is 127, whichever way, right? Either this way. All that way right you can figure out and hence we got two middle terms 121 and 127 are the middle terms of this ap